Turn it straight. This is the way I see London. When I studied photography, one of the things that I was told is you have to find your own point of view. Um, and that's, yeah, that's what defines a, a good photographer, is that you can recognize, you can recognize their style from their point of view. I'm, I've always liked the Cartier-Bresson sense of the decisive moment. And, and I kind of realized that actually, if I, Let's see what happens if I take the picture from where I am and rely on my timing to take the picture exactly where I need it to be. I'll take this one here, because that's a nice gap. There. I don't drive to take pictures. I drive to work to make money to pay the rent. I realised when I, when I started driving this van that actually I've got a space in the back that can be used as a gallery. What I do is I drive up and park outside people's galleries when they have private views. They invite an audience and so I hitchhike that audience. I literally will park as close as I can get to them and hope to get the passing trade. And it's kind of like I put myself out there so that I can have an art career rather than a van driving career. I'm apprehensive, I've got a bit, bit fluttery tummy and all that kind of stuff. I know I'm kind of pushing my way in because that's the way I'm sort of hitchhiking the audience. I don't want to offend anybody and I don't want to get in anybody's way. I don't like the hustle, it's like the point of hitchhiking is you stick out your thumb and hope that people will notice you. Um, here we go, here's some people. Evening. Some crowds jump at it and some don't. I have to deal with it. I'm getting thick, thicker skinned and I've, I've learned not to, to sort of worry about the reaction or worry about the fact that people don't necessarily want to look at it. It depends on the geography of the, of the gallery actually. This is central London so it's a slightly smarter set than if you head out to East London. They're much more open to new, you know, to new ideas or different ways of showing art. Hello, do, do step in, I'm perfectly safe. This is my, yeah, my gallery, my work, my, my concept. Art, hitch, art hitchhiking. I go where the audiences are. This is Viner Street. Apparently there are 13 or 14 galleries along here. It's where you know, the, the space is cheap, they've all moved here because Dalston, Hoxton got too expensive. It's your art? Yes. Right. And this is my, you know, my, my whole piece. You know, the, the photographs are taken from the van, I show them in the back, and you know, it's, kind of like, to anything, it's a grand portfolio to get the artwork elsewhere. Right. What I'd love to do is find a gallery that I can park this in the middle of. Oh. You know, inside a gallery. I like to call it art hitchhiking. Art hitchhiking, brilliant. brilliant. Because um, yeah, yeah just the guerrilla art thing is has the wrong connotations, right. and you know I don't want to be you know I don't want to be rude about this, and I'm going to be polite about it, and I'm you know, and I, I'm politely outside other people's galleries. I kind of knew there would be a whole buzz of people there tonight, which is good, and who knows what will come out of it now. The ultimate aim is that I want to find somebody who will do the selling for me. It's just that keep going thing at the moment and hope that it starts to pay off soon, you know.